Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap for Friday, May 14th. Hope everybody had a good week of trading. Uh, another green day today, plus 1,434. This marks our eighth green day in a row. So we're in a nice hot streak. Um, and, you know, had our biggest day of the year on Wednesday. And consequently, it is our biggest week of the year. So uh, I'll come back and recap the week. Let me take a look at the trades that we made today, and then we'll, then we'll jump back to the recap for the week. Starting with Tesla, did a Mighty 90 in Tesla, book 370 on that one. I uh, did a couple pairs trades today, a uh, small loser in NASDAQ versus Russell for minus 107, small loser in silver versus gold for minus 98. And then on the runners, uh, booked over $1,200 on our runners, Boeing plus 619, Facebook plus 461, MU loser for 156, Netflix 65, and plus 280 on Square. So let's take a look at these, and then we'll come back and recap the week. So let's start with Tesla. Tesla was our lone mighty 90 of the day. Let me expand this chart here for you. So I had this initial flush at a Tesla, came right down into the unchanged mark, had a little pop in volume, so got long, and caught this little bounce right here for a nice $370 winner in Tesla. Uh, on to the runners, starting with Boeing. So Boeing uh, made this initial push up, nice spike in volume. So on this pullback, we got long and it fired up for us. Got out of most of our contracts up here and then held one. I just was holding one contract, kind of chopped around, chopped around when it started to come down, ended up cutting out of the last one. And uh, so booked a $619 profit there. That was my biggest winner of the day. Uh, Facebook, uh, plus 461. Uh, even as frustrating as Facebook was, still a nice winner. Uh, had this initial push up, nice spike in volume. So when it pulled back to this pivot, we got long right here. Uh, pushed up, got out of half, came back down, jumped back in with some, got out of some, and then held my last piece and started just chopping, chopping. And I was kind of done for the day right after 10 o'clock here. And so I just cut out of my last piece and booked it. So booked 461 on that one. MU was my lone loser of the day. And I was trying to get short MU, uh, had this initial weakness and then bounced up to this key level here uh, with, with some volume. So I was looking for a uh, rotation down to test the lows or break. Uh, obviously that did not happen, it pushed up, but I cut this really quick when it pushed above this pivot, which is kind of my, my line in the sand, uh, it pulled back a little bit and I just cut out right there. So took a took a small loss of 156, which, in this in this uh, in this trade was a winner basically because this thing just continued to rip higher. So I will take a small like a uh, small loss like that. I'll risk 156 bucks to uh, to see what happens because um, had that obviously gone down it would have been a really nice winner, but was able to cut my losses really quick on that. So I'll call that a good trade even though it was a loss. Uh, Netflix. So Netflix. Uh, would have been a nice winner. I only booked 65 bucks, but I didn't get filled. I only got filled on one contract. So it's kind of consolidating all morning, made a big push up. And then when it pulled back to uh, yesterday's high, got long right here, but only got filled on one contract. And so it th this thing popped up really quick. So I didn't get filled on the others. So I just canceled the, my order on the others and let this thing go for a little bit and then finally cut out of it and, uh, and booked that $65. And then lastly, Square, SQ, booked um, 280 on this one. So had this nice push up, nice spike in volume when it pulled back here, got long, pushed up, got out of most of it, and then held one contract, see if we get some more push, and just kind of chopped around. So like I said, about a little after 10 a.m. I was done. So cut out, cut out of my last piece right there and booked 280 on Square. So those are all the trades for the day, plus 14.34. Uh, let me bring back my sheet and I'll show you what we did for the week. Let's go to our summary sheet here. So uh, on the Mighty 90s, booked a little over 2200 almost $2,300 on the Mighty 90s on seven trades, 85% win percentage, so love that. Uh, just did three pairs trades, all small losers, minus 332 on those. And then the runners, plus $5,653.25 total profit for the week. 7,616.25. So as you can see, that's our biggest week of the year. 
And uh, so if we look at our days of the week, Wednesday, back-to-back -back Wednesdays, 4,000 on this Wednesday, over 3,800 last Wednesday. So Wednesday's kind of running away with it as my most profitable day of the week to trade with uh, Thursday not too far behind. Obviously, I'm, there's a few Fridays, haven't traded, a few Mondays, so those are a little bit lower. And then Tuesday, Tuesday is kind of my uh, my weak spot here. I did have one big big losing day, which was really just a mistake on a couple of trades I let get away from me, but it is what it is. And so uh, I have been kind of picking my spots to take a little bit bigger sizes on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, and I'll continue to do that, and hopefully we can continue to break some new records. Uh, if we go back to, well, uh, year to date here, over 42,000 in profits. If we go to our summary going all the way back to um, the end of August when we started, let's see, we had a $7,100 day, uh, $7,100 week. And yeah, so this is actually our biggest week since we've been tracking. You know, since since going all the way back to the end of August, I didn't even look at that prior to recording here. But uh, yeah, so nice nice week here. Uh, so we'll look to build on that next week. We're we're streaming live. We do all these trades live in front of our community. And uh, so if you're interested in checking that out, just go to navigationtrading.com and you can uh, get signed up and and attend the live stream. Look forward to seeing you on the inside. If you guys have any questions. Let me know in the chat. Otherwise, have a good weekend, and we will see you on Monday. Cheers.